have gone on awe-inspiring quests. Some have braved terrible storms. Some have battled fierce warriors. Hey, Dave. And some have just gone around the corner to the bookstore. Um, excuse me. I ordered a book, The Complete Poetic Works of Pet Xing. Pet Xing? Ah, that's the worst stuff ever written. 30 years ago, I read one of his poems, and I've been blind ever since. Well, I'm, I'm sorry you... And my left arm is completely numb. Well, I'm... And I lost both my legs. Uh, but you have legs. Oh, I found them eventually, down in the sofa cushions. Anywho, what can I do for you? Uh, I'd like to pick up this pet Xing book. Ah, the book! The book! Heaven help us, the book! Yeah, I sold it two minutes ago. You sold it?! See you, Dave. Aha! Halt, despicable poetry thief! You can't... Who dares challenge me? Pachabras. Hi. You. Poetry. Ah, I see you two are a lover of the work of Pat Xing. I am Princess Ermaplots of Hyragoth. Hyragoth, yeah. Yeah, I, I hear Hyragoth. It has a lot of, uh, daisies there in Hyragoth. How can I say anything so stupid? Say something smart. Something smart! I'm allergic to daisies. I get this terrible oozing rash. Doop! Me too! Where do you get it? I can't really say. Neither can I. Do you like macrame owls? Do I? I call this one Mr. Hootie! And I call mine Sir Hootsworth McHootie III. Pajabbers! And so, Dave and Princess Irma Plotz fall in love. They seem to be the perfect couple. They have allergic reactions to the same foods. They sing old barbarian tunes together. My dinky lanky darling, I love you dinky true. I'd linky lanky love it if you said you'd love me too. They enjoy the same slightly unusual hobbies. And of course, they read the unspeakably awful poetry of Ped Xing to each other. My darling, my sweet. Oh, don't hate me, please. If I tell you your feet smell like mushy French cheese. Oh, Dave. Read me another. So what do you like about this dumb old girl, anyway? Well, she's smart and beautiful, and uh, <laughs> she says the funniest things, like, I will conquer the world, and <laughs> evil must triumph over good. You know, that kind of thing. This Irma Plotz, uh, she's not by any chance an evil princess, is she? No way! Does she have a cute little laugh that goes like, Bwah. <laughs> That's her? Evil princess? Definitely evil princess. Oh, I see. Just because she has a diabolical laugh and commands legions of horrible zombies and has evil princess embroidered on all of her hankies, you assume she's evil. That's so shallow. I knew love was blind, but I didn't know it was stupid, too. Later, in Irma Plotz's evil castle. Who is there? Irma Plotz. Irma Plotz who? Mom, enough with the knock-knock jokes already? What news do you bring for Zotsara, Empress of Evil? I have had another wonderful date with Dave. And have you told him that you are sworn to serve evil? Well, not exactly. Princess Everplots! You can't base a relationship on dishonesty? 
If he really loves you, he'll love you for who you are, honey. I guess. And if he doesn't, you can always use your magic powers to make his head explode. Permaplots! Intruder! <laughs> Mother! Stop trying to disintegrate my boyfriend! Sweetie Bunch, you and Dave need to talk. Tokaman Zanthara, Empress of... Would you give it a rest? Is this a bad time? I, I could come back when there isn't a big evil lady blowing holes in the floor. No! Dave, I have to tell you, that, that big evil lady was my mom, and I'm evil too. Bejabbers! I do all the evil things, uh, destroy civilizations, torment innocent people, return library books. Late. But Erm, you, you don't look evil. Well, well, I'm half good on my father's side. Oh, Dave, we can overcome our little differences, can't we? We must try, my sweet. We must try. Because if we don't, the story is going to be way too short. And so Dave tries to be just a little evil. Ooh, nutlogs. Take one, eh? How about two? <laughs> and Ermel Plutz tries to be just a little good. Right on time. Strange, the last page is missing. Uh, ha? <laughs> okay, that was a bust. Totally. I felt so bad about taking an extra free sample that I bought 10,000 nut logs. Uh... <laughs> oh, Dave, can't you give real evil a try? Are you sure I won't get hooked? Just try it once. I'm sorry, Erm. I... I can't. I guess it's... over. Are you breaking up with me? It was not to be, my darling. But I swear, I'll think of you every time I get an oozing rash. Dating rule number one. Never break up with an evil princess! <laughs> you should have never left him alone with all those nut logs. How was I supposed to know? Uh, so many nut logs, <laughs> so little stomach. You gonna be okay, Uncle Oswich? Uh, eventually. Hey, how'd it go with dumping the evil princess, Dave? I think she took it very well. <laughs> You're lucky. Last evil princess I broke up with sent an army of filthy pixies to destroy the kingdom. Break up with me! Will you? Filthy pixies, attack! <laughs> and so Princess Ermaplots does send an army of indestructible filthy pixies to destroy Udrigo. <gasps> They're indestructible! Yes, I just said that. So, Dave, if we cannot be together, you will pay! <laughs> You're mad at me, aren't you? And lo, the filthy pixies do rampage wildly through Udrigal, destroying everything in their path and getting nasty, sticky little fingerprints all over the place. Darn it. That's gonna need dry cleaning. How do you fight these guys when smashing them only makes more of them? If only we knew how Irma Plotz was controlling these filthy pixies. Wait, some of the pixies have stopped. Yo, I am beat. Dude, I'm totally out of filth. I can't even leave nasty, sticky little fingerprints anymore. Slackers, keep destroying or I'll read you more poetry. You wouldn't dare. My darling, my sweet, oh, don't hate me, please, if I tell you your feet smell like mushy French cheese. I don't get it. Irma Platts read to him from a little blue book, then they started wrecking stuff again. Of course. She's controlling the pixies by threatening them with Pet Xing's poetry. Obviously, it causes them pain for some reason. Yeah, it does that to pretty much everyone, Dave. Clearly, only the awesome power of poems can save the day! Thinking quickly, Dave constructs a homemade megaphone using only some string, a squirrel, and a megaphone. Attention, filthy pixies! I command you to leave this kingdom on pain of... Poetry! <clears throat> My ears have wax. So waxy, waxy, I think I'm going to hail a taxi. <laughs> Yes, the atrocious poetry drives the filthy pixies back from whence they came. So, Dave, you thought you could dump me and remain unscathed? You fool! <laughs> Dave isn't here. Sorry, I, I don't like to wear my glasses when I'm committing unspeakable acts of evil. They make me look bookish. Does anyone else hear the sound of hundreds of filthy pixies approaching in terrible pain? Go on, get! Eat your vegetables. They'll make you grow up. Unless they're rotten, then you might throw up. <laughs> Incredible. 
I've spent years in search of poetry horrible enough to control the filthy pixies. Where did you find such brilliantly awful poems? Um, well, I wrote them. Maybe we still have a chance together, Dave. Anyone who writes poetry that bad can't be all good. You mean that in a nice way, right? You haven't seen the last of me, Dave the Barbarian. Take this to remember me by. Goodbye, my evil love. Goodbye. The complete works of Pet Xing. Hey, someone tore out the last page. <laughs> Curse you, evil Princess Irma Blotz. Curse you. Hi, I'm Dave the Barbarian. And this is my peculiar scaly chum, Faffy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure many of you are wondering why I tied a squirrel to a megaphone. Well, goodbye! Pajamas! Join us, O oh viewer, in the mysterious Time Vortex, for our story begins in the distant, far-flung future. The strange and fantastical year 1994! In this high-tech wonderland, we visit the conglomerated Pants Company, where toils a pathetic little tailor, Ned Frischman. Ah, I have done nothing but sew on zippers for nine years without complaining! I'll never achieve my ultimate goal in life. Employee of the Month! <laughs> Yes, Ned's depressing little life seems pointless indeed, until one fateful day, when a fiery comet hits Ned's zipper. Seconds later, a secret experimental laser bombards the zipper with hyperviolet mercury rays. Then it is doused with mysterious chemicals, struck by the mystical powers of the Norse gods, bitten by a radioactive grasshopper, and taught the arcane ability to cloud men's minds by an inscrutable monk. Wow, that hardly ever happens. The combination of these events has turned Ned's ordinary zipper into the Time Zipper. I can travel through time? Neat! What the heck with Employee of the Month? I can go back to a stupider time and conquer the world with my advanced modern technology. I, Ned Frischman, will be the most powerful figure in history. It won't even be history anymore. It'll be... Frischstory! Meanwhile, many centuries earlier, our heroes are waiting patiently for their story to begin. Come on! We're like two minutes in already! All right, here we go. It's time for the bad guy to show up right now. Simpletons of yesteryear, I am Ned Frischman, man of tomorrow. Children, we have just glimpsed the face of the future. Just imagine someday humankind will wear its pants up that high. Bow down before me and my advanced ways. Oh, I'm not allowed to bow down to strangers. Eh, okay. But observe these awesome artifacts of the future. Behold! With the touch of a button, I open garage doors without leaving my car. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm magic. What's a garage? What's a car? I think button is another word for keister. You do not quiver in primitive terror? Well, eh, eh. Ooh, would you fear someone who could make fruit smoothies in mere minutes? What's fruit? Okay, 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 I got more. A personal listing fan, diet candy bar, magnetic foot insole, cordless salad tosser! Wait, wait, wait. Surely you must tremble in awe before. A game guy! Look, you can play Bash the Behemoths. How do you bash a behemoth with this? Push both down at the same time. Hey, I bashed one! Amazing graphics. What's graphics? I think it's another word for keister. Take it away, go on! A plan to rule the ancient world swiftly forms in Ned's mind. He has but one thing to do. Hit the Superstore! <laughs> yes, game guys. Hundreds of game guys. Do you require assistance loading these into your tear in the space-time continuum? And so Ned puts his fiendish plan into action. One for you. One for you. <laughs> you know, I used to sit around for hours practicing my evil laughter, but I never thought I'd get the chance to use it.
<laughs> and lo, the people of Udragoth are swiftly captivated by the game guy's hot colors, multi-level mode, and overall playability. Hey, shouldn't we be watching for invaders? As soon as I get to level six. Hey, shouldn't we be invading? As soon as I get to level six. Even members of the royal family are whiling away their precious youth. Can I try? No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. I beg you. No! Shall I tell you of last night's dream? Dark forms came to me, whispering of unspeakable atrocities. Stop with the dreams! You can try it! A tragic irony. No thumbs. But the fun doesn't last. It stopped! May! Hey! 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 My plan is working! You need batteries! And I can provide them for a prize. <laughs> I'm taking over the ancient world. I'm trying to start a band. Yes, to earn their batteries, the people of Udragoth did labor mightily for Ned Frishman, constructing a sphinx of gold. Mount Frishmore, Big Ned's putt-putt funhouse. And the Great Pyramid of Ned. Let me explain again. I am doing actual work. Me! I don't think you understand how completely and utterly wrong this is! Yes! We finished another slam! Give us our batteries! Yeah! <laughs> More batteries! But of course, as soon as you finish, Ten more slabs! Yes, Master! <laughs> but of all the tasks imposed on the people, the most difficult went to Dave. To create a sandwich in Ned's name! A good one, though, not like ham salad or tongue. <laughs> hmm, mayonnaise or mustard? I know, a perfect blend of both. I'll call it mayotard. Oh, this will get me extra batteries. Can't you see what's happening? That little worm has you all enslaved by a stupid game. You're just jealous because you don't have thumbs to play it with. Just because that's true doesn't mean I'm not right. Voila! Mayotard! Poor Fathoms. Him doesn't have thumbs either, does him? I knew I had another salami. Thus, the task of defeating Ned Frishman falls to the only ones not under his power. The brave, the bold, the thumbless few. For years, they have mocked us. Oh, oh, look at them. They have no thumbs. Let us taunt them. But now, who's going to save the kingdom's bacon, huh? Ah, more lowly peons come to bow down before the great Ned Frishman. Trade not, slug lips. Charge! Yes! Level six! Oh, and a halt. No one defies Ned Frishman, man of tomorrow! Okie doke. You wanted the perfect Ned Frishman sandwich, and I've got it down to three choices. Hold that thought. Right now, I must punish these three by entombing them forever in the Great Pyramid of Ned! How's that for futuristic no how, huh? Can any of the other pyramids do that? No, no, I don't think so. Jason! Gee, Lula, I'd love to help, but I really need more batteries. If you save us, I'll tell you the trick to getting to level seven. You fiend! I'll not let you harm my friends! <laughs> Thank you, David. You dare defy Ned Frishman? I command this being of a bygone era to attack! Ah! That way! That way! Ah! My mighty ancient empire! Ned Frishman may perish, but at least he has the satisfaction of knowing that his nemesis will go with him. Not necessarily. Momentino. Who wants a sandwich? Dave the Barbarian! 
you make me so mad! Ow, ow, no biting! No! Ow, ow! Okay, pay up. How do you get to level seven? Go to level six and ask directions. Dang, why didn't I think of that? Later, Dave makes an official announcement. People of Udragoth, you are freed from servitude to the evil Ned Frischman. Yay! And you will no longer have to labor for more batteries. Yay! Because there will be no more game guys. <laughs> Meanwhile, centuries later, one day I will return to the past, and my impact will be so great that barbarians will be called Frischbarians! Or Barbarianeds! Or maybe Nedibarifishians! <laughs> I'm proud to announce that the new employee of the month is. Oh, oh, please, 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 please. Rex! Oh, oh fate, thou art cruel! It's nearly time for some Hakuna Matata with those grub grabbers Timon and Pumbaa, next on Disney Cinemagic. They just love bugs!